Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. The General Hospital spoilers for Monday, December 11, state that Violet Finn wanted to perform at Harrison Chase and Brooke Lynn Quartermain's wedding, so they agreed, though they couldn't set a certain date. Violet hinted at having two brides and grooms, but Hamilton Finn and Elizabeth Baldwin drew her back to the Christmas tree. Gregory Chase then tapped Violet in and gave her a bedtime tale, prompting her to inquire about the cane Dad was using. Gregory stated that he required assistance walking, so Violet laughed and remarked that everyone did. Meanwhile, Finn was concerned that this would be his last Christmas with Gregory and sought comfort from Liz on the sofa. Liz finally brought Gregory home, while Brooke Lynn and Chase went to the Quartermain estate at the suggestion of Lois Cirillo. Tracy Quartermain complained about the Christmas decorations at the Cumans, which sparked some squabbles with Lois and Olivia Quartermain until Leo Quartermain visited. Leo was worried that Tracy's Christmas would be destroyed because she didn't like to have fun, but she argued she could have fun occasionally and mentioned going to the Luo with Brooke Lynn. Tracy also mentioned several animals she spotted while in Amsterdam, which piqued Leo's interest, so he went to look them up in his book. Lois and Olivia discovered Tracy didn't know Ned Quartermain was back to his former self, so they provided updates in the living room. Tracy was irritated that she had been left out of the loop, but Olivia and Lois suggested that Ned might want to tell her about his transformation in person. When the conversation moved to Tracy's motivation for returning home, she claimed it was to obtain documents that would help her establish she had Luke Spencer's power of attorney. Lois and Olivia were hesitant because Tracy appeared to want to spend Christmas with her family, especially when she took out some items for Leo. When Brooke Lynn and Chase arrived, they announced their engagement. Tracy persuaded Chase to sign a prenup and drew Brooke Lynn into a more intense hug than normal. Curtis Ashford informed Marshall Ashford about the experimental operation that could help him walk again on Monday's GH episode. However, he admitted there were risks and no promises. Marshall was concerned, but Curtis told out that Portia Robinson had submitted him for consideration and had given her approval for him to take this chance. Marshall extended his support if this is what Curtis wanted to do. Curtis stated that the treatment would take place in January or February. Nina Corinthos showed out a plethora of items she'd purchased at Sunny Corinthos' penthouse, but he was taken aback by her modest intentions for the grandchildren gifts. Nina pretended to avoid irritating Michael Corinthos because things were still heated, but she prevented Sonny from calling and speaking to him on her behalf. Instead, Nina indicated that the issue might improve over time, as it had with Willow Corinthos. Nina pretended that because Michael agreed to let them all spend Christmas Eve together, they should just celebrate. Dex Heller declined Jocelyn Jack's offer to bring him a little Christmas tree at his house. It reminded Dex of how stressful things were in his family over the holidays when he was growing up. Dex reminisced on how his father cheated on his mother, who refused to leave him in order to end the cycle. Because Dex did not worship his pompous SOB father as his brothers did, they beat him up and made his life miserable. Although Jocelyn was sad that Dex's Christmas tree had caused him anxiety rather than joy, she hoped he'd let her show him how special it might be. Dante Falconeri told Sam McCall in their bedroom about the WSB seizing Jameson Forsyth's body and classifying all documents connected to the inquiry, including the arson report. Dante still held the train locker key and had no intention of telling Anna Devane, Fanola Hughes, about it until he investigated it himself. Sam was concerned because the WSB might be watching him, but Dante doubted it. Anna, on the other hand, was clearly being watched, which meant that including her would be too dangerous. Sam was still worried about Dante, but he was resolved to go into the rail locker on his own. Dante believed the WSB was misusing its power and resolved to bring them accountable. According to General Hospital Previews on Tuesday, December 12, 
Brooke Lynn Quartermain will express her gratitude to Maxie Jones and urge that she do something for Maxie in return. Maxie was able to go over Brooke Lynn's misdeeds at deception, so they're attempting to rekindle their friendship. According to GH spoilers, Brooke Lynn will also make a decision on Tuesday's episode, so we'll see if it includes her scheme or selecting a date for the wedding. In any case, Maxie might be able to help with the planning. In the meantime, Tracy will have an unpleasant reunion with Ned Quartermain. Although Tracy will be relieved that Eddie Main has finally converted back into Ned, she will be disappointed that she has been left out of the loop. Tracy, on the other hand, will soon turn her focus to more pressing problems, since Michael Corinthos is attempting to take over ELQ and must be stopped. Tracy will make that perfectly apparent to Ned and tell him that he must act quickly. Lucy Co will reflect on a mistake she committed, while Scott Baldwin contacts Liesel Obrecht. Scott would undoubtedly attempt to make peace with Liesel and persuade her that they can still have a love relationship. Christina Corinthos Davis will surprise Sam McCall at Kelly's with the news that she will be Molly Lansing Davis' surrogate. Sam will be concerned about the likelihood of further family trouble and will question if Christina is certain about this, but Christina will assure him that she has carefully considered everything this time. Willa Corinthos will call Nina Corinthos out on some unusual behavior from across town. Nina appeared to be eager to build a relationship at first, but Willow now senses Nina's withdrawal. When Willow brings up that observation, Nina may behave as if she didn't want to put any pressure on her daughter. Perhaps Nina would argue that she was afraid that pushing too hard might backfire and undo all of their efforts. Nina may also hint that the closer she gets to Willow, the more she has to lose if all goes wrong. Of course, Willow is unaware that Michael is blackmailing Nina over her SEC disclosures, so she may offer reassurance and act as if she is eager to strengthen their mother-daughter bond. Later, Ned will decide to complicate Nina's blackmail situation by threatening to reveal her secret if she does not assist him in gaining an advantage over Michael and Drew. Kane. If Nina doesn't do some spying and come up with some dirt on Aurora, Ned will tell Willow and Sunny Corinthos everything. Dante Falconeri will then open the rail locker linked to Jameson Forsyth and discover the incriminating report within. There will be documents that could aid Anna Devane's inquiry, but they will put Dante in grave risk, especially since Mr. Brennan's photograph will be within. According to General Hospital teasers, Mr. Brennan will soon pursue Dante, so stay tuned for more information on the dangers that await him. According to General Hospital spoilers, Brooke Lynn Quartermain and Harrison Chase are planning to marry. Chase convinced Brooke Lynn that he was all in on their future, so she accepted his engagement ring and has been informing him of the wonderful news. Gregory Chase is no doubt overjoyed that Chase has found his true love. Gregory wants to make sure his sons have some stability in their life now that he understands he's fighting an ALS battle he can't win. Chase and Brooke Lynn will most likely expedite their wedding plans so Gregory can attend before he declines too much. Gregory undoubtedly wants to be able to speak out for Chase and play an important role in the celebration. Violet Finn, on the other hand, hinted at another couple's impending engagement in the December 8 episode. Violet wondered if Hamilton Finn would purchase Elizabeth Baldwin, Rebecca Herbst, a ring after hearing about Chase proposing to Brooke Lynn. Although Finn and Liz have been taking their relationship slowly, the situation with Gregory may provide them with an opportunity to speed things up at some time. Finn might finally decide Violet is correct and propose to Elizabeth. Even if it's too soon, Finn might prefer the idea of Gregory being able to see both of his son's weddings, possibly even at the same time. This could be the ideal time for a soapy double wedding, so Finn and Liz could join Chase and Brooke Lynn's celebration. If Gregory's condition worsens, everyone may be motivated to bring everything together as soon as possible. The simplest method to accomplish this would be to combine the marriages and make this one massive occasion to remember. Elizabeth has recently become Finn's rock, and she will continue to be so as he prepares for a possibly devastating deposition. 
Finn might lose this malpractice case and his entire career, leaving him clinging to Liz and their future together. Bottom line, Chase and Brooke Lynn are getting married, so GE writers could easily double the fun by having Finn and Elizabeth marry next. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.